problem number 19 it is a very simple problem this problem is related to simple trigonometry related to the chapter height and distances a bird is sitting on the top of a vertical pole 20 meter high and its elevation from the point o on the ground is 45 degrees it flies off horizontally straight away from o after one second the elevation of the bird changes to 30 degree now what we have to find out the speed of the bird these are the four options which are given to us let us see the solution of this problem you can see here this is the pole here the bird is sitting and here somewhere we have point O and the angle of elevation from here is given 45 degree this pole is 20 meter high now it flies off away from point O it is given to us now the angle of elevation is going to change it is reduced to 30 degree now we have to find out what is the speed of the bird the angle of elevation it is given after one second you can see the vertical height of the bird above the ground is not changing it is same that is 20 meters so this can be taken again 20 meters now assuming this distance of point O from the pole equal to x and again assuming the distance travel by the bird in one second is y now applying simple trigonometry you can see in this triangle 10 45 degree is equal to 20 by x or x is equal to 20 meters again using tan 30 degree tan 30 degree is equal to 20 upon x plus y the base is x plus y you can see here x plus y is equal to 20 root 3 we want to calculate the distance traveled by the bird in one second which is equal to y so by using these two equations y is equal to 20 root 3 minus 1 this is the distance traveled by the bird in one second so the speed is equal to distance upon time so the speed is equal to 20 root 3 minus 1 meters per second so you can see here we have option number third this is the correct answer now moving to problem number 20 Moving to problem number 20, this is going to be a trickier problem for us. You will see the involvement of quadratic equation as well as calculus. It is given if A belongs to R and the equation minus 3 x minus greatest integer of x whole square plus twice x minus greatest integer of x plus A square is equal to 0 has no integral solution then all possible values of variable a lies in which of these intervals so let us see the problem first it's again not directly related to the quadratic equation because you can see lot of complex functions here but we'll be using the graphical way of solving this problem let us see we know x minus greatest integer of x 
is equal to fractional part of x and the value of fractional part of x lies between 0 to 1. And if we do not put any integral value here, if we do not put any x integer, you would not be getting 0 here. So, according to this problem, we do not want any integral solution that is any integral value of x. So, here we will restrict fractional part of x between 0 to 1. I repeat fractional part of x here is not going to give you value 0 because x is not an integer. Now, let us see we have minus 3 x minus greatest integer x whole square plus twice x minus greatest integer of x plus a square equal to 0. Now, taking this as fractional part and this 2 as fractional part, we can modify this equation as a square is equal to 3 times fractional part of x whole square minus twice of fractional part of x. Now, we will be simplifying this problem by the use of graph. If you take fractional part of x as a variable t and if we draw the graph of this one, this equal to y and taking t as x axis, you will see a parabola here which is cutting the t axis at 0 and 2 by 3. Now, please note as we see here fractional part of x is equal to 0 to 1. So, t which is equal to fractional part is lying between 0 to 1. The maximum value of t is equal to 1 which we are taking here. So, the parabola is limited to t equal to 1 and at t equal to 1 this will be again giving you 1 although 1 is not included here. You can not see any part which is lying below origin that is lesser than origin. You cannot see the graph of this parabola for lesser than 0 values y because we know t is positive, it is only lying between 0 to 1. So, this is the graph of 3 t square minus 2 t equal to y. Now, this should be equal to a square. Now, again you can note if you can take a square is equal to y. So, this being constant is going to cut this parabola if a square is lying between 0 to 1. Again, you can note here a is not equal to 1 because here 1 is not included. Again, a cannot be equal to 0. Why? Because 0 to here is not included. The fractional part of x is not becoming 0 here. So, for the solution that is for the point of intersection between a square and this parabola, what we need to do? We want to restrict the constant a square between 0 to 1. So, applying this condition that is a square lying between 0 to 1, we have a belongs to minus 1 to 0 union 0 to 1. So, this is the required solution you can see here it is option number 4. Now, with this we are moving to next problem that is problem number 21. Now, moving to problem number 21 we have to evaluate this integral the integral is 
0 to pi under root of 1 plus 4 sin square x by 2 minus 4 sin x by 2. Although it seems to be a little bit complicated integral, but if you observe this, the value which is lying inside this root function, it is 1 plus 4 sin square x by 2 minus 4 sin x by 2. It is the complete square of twice sin x by 2 minus 1. It is a whole square of this simple function. So, we have to find out the value of this. Now, one thing which can lead to error in this problem is we know under root of x square is equal to mod x. It is not simply equal to s, it is equal to mod of x. So, in this problem, you have to take care of this important concept. So, applying mod here, we have this function. Now, moving from 0 to pi, you can see the value which is lying inside this modulus function is positive as well as negative. This is going to become 0 at x equal to pi by 3. Again, you can note here at x equal to pi by 3, the angle becomes pi by 6 and at sin pi by 6, the value becomes 1 by 2 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, when we are moving from 0 to pi, we can see the value is becoming 0 at pi by 3. Now, when we move from 0 to pi by 3, that is in this part, the value which is lying inside this modulus function, you can note here it is negative. So, we will be opening this mod with the negative sign. This is what we have. Again, at pi by 3 it is 0 and from pi by 3 to pi, this is positive. So, we will be opening this modulus with the positive sign. I think the remaining part is easier for you. If you integrate this, we have x plus 4 cos x by 2 applying limit from 0 to pi by 3. Again, the integral of this is minus of 4 times cos x by 2 minus x and the limit is running from pi by 3 to pi. Now, putting the upper and limit properly, you will be getting final answer that is option number 3. This is the final value you will be putting 4 root 3 minus 4 minus pi by 3. Now, again we are moving to problem number 22.